Hello, my name is Mariana and this is a reading for Scorpio. So, uh, before we begin, Scorpio, I've done your reading with my own deck, one that I made in 2018, and it's been guiding me since then. Um, so the cards you'll see are from this deck. Um, and today, Scorpio, uh, I feel like you're in some place, you're somewhere in a physical space uh, that it's just either dangerous or there is some sort of threat there for you and i feel like it's making you a little bit dizzy perhaps this is like a symptom that uh, can clarify to you you know just to make sure that you see clearly the danger around you because we start this reading with this five of pentacles and usually this card comes through with this um, X mark on a map, right? Uh, just pointing to me that there is this one specific place that feels very concrete, very three-dimensional, right? Um, but today, what I saw for you, Scorpio, this was just screaming like this uh, hazard, right? Danger, it's almost like, it, I heard like this alarm uh, going off, right? And it's almost like something that perhaps it has been brewing, right? Perhaps this danger, this threat was slowly or silently growing around you, around your physical space. And perhaps, you know, because of the cards that are following, I feel like it could be, you know, something that potentially you have been in this space or in this place, in this home or in this environment for quite some time, right? Because it was your home base or it was your, uh, it felt like a stable foundation for you, right? But this danger, especially because of the card that came afterwards, you know, being the devil, you know, you know those uh, chemical products or like this, uh, these very toxic kind of products that are, uh, used in industries or stuff like that that have those uh, yellow signs, right? Uh, indicating that it is toxic or something. You know, you know what I mean, right? I hope you, you can visualize because it's what I'm seeing with this Five of Pentacles today for you, Scorpio, especially coming with the devil, right? So it feels to me that slowly but surely, whatever this devil is representing for you, right? Perhaps because as I was getting, it was like this slow and silent growth of threat. So perhaps it was something that you couldn't see, you couldn't perceive with your vision, right? With your eyes, with your sight. But, you know, now with this Five of Pentacles, it's becoming visible for you. It's like taking over your physical environment, perhaps your room, your uh, workspace, your home, right? Um, so it feels to me that there is some sort of danger that is really close to you and it's like, it, it is approaching, right? It's making its way to you. Um, and I feel like, like, you know, it could potentially be very, um, very triggering for you in a way that it makes you feel dizzy, right? Because of this seven of cups that followed the devil. So I'm not saying that this could be another person, uh, that is presenting this threat, uh, because it's not what I'm seeing actually. It's what it's like this, it's like this growing mold. It's what I'm hearing, right? It's like this silent uh, enemy that, you know, when when we just uh, go by our days, you know, trying to just live life or you know, uh, go through the day, you know, and usually these small things they are dealt with last, 
right? It's almost like we turn a blind eye to these uh, small threats, right? But now it feels like it's growing to a point that you cannot avoid. You cannot turn this blind eye anymore, right? And because you are seeing it, you know, in a, in a very tangible kind of way, sorry about the noise. So with the seven of cups following the devil, I feel like this growing threat, this hazard, right? That is now really close to you. It's making you feel like you have taken like a punch, right? Because what I'm seeing today, it's actually funny, but um, not to say that this is going to be uh, a funny experience, not at all. It's just like the image that I'm seeing. Because you know those cartoons where uh, the character takes a hit or it takes a punch and you know it's like these stars or these um, you know all of these yeah I, I think our stars uh, are just around their heads right just this confusion right this is and because you know, today, what I'm sensing also with this Seven of Cups is not only that it's making you dizzy and confused, it's almost like it's, um, it's presenting you fake options to overcome it. It's like you cannot see clearly the way out of this situation. This is what I'm seeing. But I feel like it's almost like it's, it's this... It's this punch, right? When you, you know, when you let this kind of threat, this kind of slow and silent threat grow to a point that it becomes like unavoidable or, uh, you know, if we are talking about mold uh, in your house, for example, uh, it feels like it comes to a point that you cannot even live there anymore you cannot stay there anymore right it's just like it demands uh, construction or um, how do you say it uh, anyway you know what I mean right uh, so what I'm seeing with the seven of cups it's like momentarily like at at the point of this realization that this threat has come to a point that is uh, it's unavoidable you become lost, right? But with this card coming next, this Queen of Cups, I feel like very quickly you come back to your senses, right? It's like, so the guidance that was coming through this Queen of Cups today for you, Scorpio, is if you're feeling dizzy, if you're feeling confused, if you're feeling like, you know, you're surrounded by uh, unreal options, right? Or impossible options. Listen to your intuition because it will guide you. You know, your intuition, your heart uh, will lead you to this best possible way. Although uh, it feels to me that it won't be easy, Scorpio. It won't be the most um soothing or the most uh tranquil experience because oh my cards are all jumbled up but here with these three cards coming next you know the eight of swords the five of cups and the tower this is this tower card is the reason why i said it could be this very firm foundation foundation perhaps uh, the house that you have been living or the work that you have been working your whole life, right? And it felt very stable, very secure, but for some reason, it's all coming apart. Like it's all crumbling down, right? And because remember, as I said, with this five of pentacles, it was this alarm uh, just going off, right? But very like in in your environment right it feels very physical it feels like you know it's what i'm hearing is like it's in the walls it's in the walls i don't know what that means but it's in the walls it's like you can touch it 
you can see it you can smell it right and because we have another five here which is the five of cups you know and you your reaction it's all of these cups energies right all of these cups cards it's your reaction and it feels very very emotional for you but in a way that creates uh, instability creates confusion creates a uh, lack of clarity right and it's also a five you know so the same moment that oops the same moment that this threat this hazard this uh <laughs> this bad thing uh presents itself or you realize how close it is to you to a point that it could really potentially harm you it's like it it flips it it's like this alarm that's sounding like inside of you so you know it's almost like this outer alarm that triggers this inner alarm i don't even know what i'm saying but uh it's like for you, this realization that you are in a place that could be very harmful for you in every sense, right? Physically and emotionally, but also to your, to your, so what I'm hearing, it's like to your sanity. It's harmful to your sanity right to your clear mind because we already saw that you could be very confused right not knowing the way out of this um and the guidance being very clear right with this queen of cups in order to uh you know just because what i'm hearing with this tower card is like you have to remove yourself from this place right from this dangerous place uh, all of these cards, ju they're just screaming at me like, you have to move. You know, there is no, you know, the way out is moving out. <laughs> and I know this could be very specific. And, you know, this is why I feel like this Queen of Cups is here. Just to remind you that whatever, you know, the best possible guidance that you could receive is from your inner guidance it's like from your inner self from your from your higher self from your heart right just listen to your intuition and your intuition although you could be like with these um you know your emotional body could be very uh debilitated right with all of this i feel like and also because what i'm hearing with this tower card is that like it could be physically draining too. It could be a challenge, not only to your emotional body, but also your physical body. So the sooner you get out of this, right? Just listen to your intuition and your intuition will scream like these alarms ringing, right? Just listen how the environment is speaking to you and just um, showing, you know, through your intuitive senses, right? How you can get out of this, right? Because what I'm seeing also with this tower is like this cross over this door. Like you, you, you must go through this door, right? You have to just, what I'm getting is like, you have to move out. I'm sorry, Scorpio, if this is, uh, too drastic or too alarming i don't mean to be uh alarming in this way it's just what i'm seeing in these cards uh so i'm going to pull more cards to see where this goes or if there is uh further guidance for you if you are uh going through some sort of situation like this uh but please just listen to your intuition um it's your better uh, guidance than anything I could possibly say or anyone could say to you okay so and also I'm going to pull from the astrological runes um, in the extended reading so if you want to join me there I'll be happy to see you if not 
take care and listen to your intuition. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.